Hey guys, this is Bo. The Skull of Corruption starts in Dawnstar. Like many good things that you've seen on this channel, Dawnstar is where we're going. We're going to go to the Wind Peak Inn, and we're going to talk to this guy, Arender. Dude, what's up? Everyone can't go to sleep. Can you tell me why? And this will bring you to the, probably I think the worst part about this whole quest is literally following this guy takes like seven, ten minutes. And it's like, ugh. But you have to sit there following him the whole way up the peak. It's, it doesn't seem very entertaining, but trust me, it's okay. Pretty much the premise is we got to go there, figure out what is causing everyone to lose their sleep. And it turns out that there's a Daedric Lord that has a staff that's gone hungry. And it needs the dreams of people to sate its hunger. And now he's going to be like, okay, well, um, let's go into this Temple of Doom here and figure it out. There's a whole bunch of orcish invaders that have attacked the temple. Basically, in order for the priests that are in this temple to kind of save themselves, they did this thing called the miasma. The miasma basically puts everyone to sleep. So as when you're inside here, you got to have to mess with the miasma. Now, this one is a protective barrier. You can't go any further. But he does know of a book that has the solution. So you have to go through following this guy. And as the miasma wears off, you got to kill people, which, I mean, that's what's up. You just go in there, wreck balls. You're going to be looking for a book called, I believe it is the Dream Stride. Now, the Dream Stride is up on the second level in the back. So, I mean, you can look around, obviously loot everything you can. This is a great place when it comes to alchemical uh, components because uh, there's all kinds of stuff. You're going to get tons of really rare alchemical so, Okay, there we've got the book. We go and talk to him and say, bro, I found the book. It's all good, bro. Could you please uh, tell me what to do? And he'll say, great. Well, we need to go to the laboratory. We need to make... A, we have to go find a potion because that's going to be able to put you back in the Dreamwalker stance. Whoa, bro. So in here, again, the miasma wears off. You're going to have to take care of business. It's not too big a deal. You're going to thrash people like that blah, 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 right in the mouth. So what Erender wants you to do is just walk around and find stuff. Uh, he's trying to look for the potion. There are tons of alchemical ingredients. Take everything. Daedra hearts, uh, ice tooth essences, and tons of potions. If you come out of here without a whole ton of potions, you did it wrong. So now that you have the potion, you're going to hit it. You're going to drink that and go into this weird stage called the Dream Walker. Basically, it's kind of like a just watch and kind of move around. You can't do anything or break anything or grab anything. You just walk through the, the struggle as for when they made the miasma. So then you're going to be teleported back. You're going to take care of that barrier. Now he's going to go down and try. You're just going to be crushing through folks in order to get to what is now the Skull of Corruption. The Skull of Corruption is going to be guarded by a couple guys. It's the dudes you saw in the Dreamwalker phase. You're going to have to go in there. I know. It's all spoiler alert, so whatever. You're going to go in there and beast on some folks. So he'll do the heavy lifting, at least initially. Let him tank. You're going to want to take on these two dudes. I suggest taking one at a time, considering the magic can mess you up, depending on what level you're at. Uh, also, after you crush these guys, make sure to heal up as fast as possible. Because what's going to happen is that Erendur is going to go in there and try to break the seal. You're not going to. You're going to get a message from the Daedric Lord saying, "Hey, FYI, could you please kill him, uh, so that way he doesn't take the Skull of Corruption. If he takes the Skull of Corruption, you get a follower. If you kill him, you'll get the Skull. You want to kill him because otherwise you're not going to get the Daedric item, and you're not going to get it counted towards your achievement. That sucks, Ors. So you, what you want to do is kill him. So beat his ass. You could just sit there and wait if you want to get the follower, but who cares? Just beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him, and then, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And at this point, the Daedric Lord will go ahead and be like, okay, well, yeah, you're cool, bud. Here, take my deal. That's right. The Skull of Corruption is now yours. The Skull of Corruption is a pretty interesting little piece. Basically, what you can do is you can either use it as a regular wand or you can charge it by activating it on people who are sleeping and by stealing their dreams. It will give a lot more power, but it's a real pain in the butt. But it does have some interesting ideas when you're walking around town, people get really weirded out when you see it. 
Uh, so, I mean, again, it does a lot of damage, but if you are go and suck away people's dreams, it will do even more. So I hope that was helpful for a lot of you guys. Uh, if you would like to see additional Daedric item stuff, go ahead and click on the playlist that this video came from. But until next time, guys, I hope that was helpful. And like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. See ya!